Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When you are facing something like homelessness and you're starting to lose life in your business and you're not sure that you can get a job as an employee because you are so seasoned in leadership and in management of many areas to run a business that many companies won't take you in because they think you don't know how to follow. The lie that companies tell themselves is usually that. It is also true that there are leaders out there that do not know how to follow, they do not know how to concede to colleagues, and they do not want to. I am not of that mindset. My whole life I have learned from talking, through listening, and engaging with people. My entire Japanese language skills and the best of the best of them came from my late spouse and my late son, always willing to gently and lovingly correct me. My son would say, hey dad, that's not quite right. And here's what you want to do. And I'd be great with that. I also encouraged him to be a good player in our business and help people to do things right. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And as a grandfather now, I look forward someday to seeing the photographs of those grandchildren. It is also my hope that my late son was able to pass his beautiful, handsome loins on to someone else. I cannot compliment myself in that. I definitely attribute that to my late spouse, my late wife. But in the world of men, people don't always pay attention to women. And what I can tell you is that is a travesty, but it's also there's also a reason for it. Most men do not want to be monstrously abused by women in this world. Most men do not want to be insulted by women's ideas and women's rights in this world. When women tout about women's rights to their bodies, I want to add in, men have rights to their bodies too, but often they give it up in inappropriate behavior towards women and others like you. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. Men are not always known for being loving and kind because of the stereotypes that fly around and the fact that women often abuse them. What I mean by that is that the person who is marvelously attacking me at night could possibly be a bitch of a woman that I have never met before or someone that I met one time in my life. It is highly doubtful that it is any of the two or three girls, including my late spouse, who would be the ones doing this to me. I expect that I have rights to my body, but apparently someone else thinks they have rights to me too, which is a complete, utter, and total lie. Not to mention a far-fetched abuse of American law. At no time does any person of any certification or any PhD degree have the right to commandeer someone's life for study, for investigation, or for humiliation.